Sad news today for fans of the Mad Max films, including the latest release, Fury Road, which hit theaters last year and quickly left a lasting impression on all of us as potentially the greatest action film of at least the last decade or so. The captain might be abandoning his ship. So despite the fact that he reportedly has lots of ideas to work with, including completed scripts for sequels and the recent news that he was tossing around the idea of a Furiosa standalone film, George Miller went on record after the Golden Globes to say this. I won't make any more Mad Max movies. No! What? He then continued, I've shot in Australia in a field of wildflowers and flat red earth when it rained heavily forever. We had to wait 18 months and every return to the US was 27 hours. Those Mad Maxes take forever. I won't do those anymore. So what the fuck, right? I mean, yeah, sure. The guy is 70 years old. So projects that are as long and arduous as creating a Mad Max film, that's probably something that no one at that age would want to do really. But he seemed so excited about the prospect just even a month ago, saying in an interview with Deadline, the more I speculate about what's happening, the more I try to avoid spoilers this far out. And also I find myself talking around in circles. So the best thing I can say is that we're definitely in discussion about making more of these, but the timing of it, I'm really not sure. Probably won't be called Wasteland. I can say that. It was just the working title that we gave it. And then again, he alluded to the fact that there might be more to the Furiosa storyline outside of a sequel to Fury Road. Uh, when asked directly about Furiosa, he said, I'm not sure is the answer. She's not in the Mad Max sequel story, but in one of the stories, there's an interaction between Max and Furiosa. I can't really say more than that because it's still in progress. So these were already somewhat into pre-production or whatever, mm -hmm. there were scripts, he was doing something with this. So it would obviously be harder to believe that he would give all that up and have such a sudden change of heart so soon, but here we are and we heard it straight from Miller's mouth. So where does this leave the future of the franchise? Okay, so it is possible that the scripts will see the light of day and that he might just hand the reins over to any number of hungry, younger directors wanting to take a chance on recreating lightning in a bottle for a newer, younger generation. I think that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. But until we hear more, it looks like it might be done. I think he's gonna hand it over because yeah. when he was working on Mad Max Fury Road for 20 years, he also, <laughs> yeah. he, he had like a whole story Bible of other stories that he wanted to tell. Mm -hmm. So I think it would be kind of a waste. I think I think he'll go on to be executive producer, yeah, co-writer yeah. for the next ones. But He'll definitely have eyes on it, yeah. creative touch. But the, the thing is, is like, there's so many great directors out there right now, specifically for action films that, it could go to anyone, and with the success of Fury Road, who wouldn't want to take on this project? Right, and he's already set the template for how it should sort of look and feel. And like, how it should be done with yeah. practical effects. So, I mean, yeah, if he can find someone else to direct and I'll still allow himself to have some creative control, I think that could be just fine. Well, as far as hearing from him in the very near future, we still have lots more award shows coming up really soon, including the Directors Guild Awards, and then there's the Oscars, so there's definitely no doubt that the question of what the hell do you mean you're not doing any more Mad Max movies will definitely come up and uh, hopefully figure something out by then because it would be a real shame not to see the, this story play out. Especially yeah. with this new universe that he's built around. Yeah, you can't just show up on my doorstep <laughs> yeah. after 25 years or however long it's been and come back into my life and then just walk right back out the door like yeah. nothing? George Miller's like, sorry, Elliot, I'm going out to the liquor store. What am I? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. Still waiting on George. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in our honest opinion, this is probably still going to go forward. It'll just be held off for a while when he figures out exactly who he wants to take over on this. And who knows? It's George Miller. He might get down to the point where the new director's about to start and he goes, nah, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm actually going to do this. Step yeah. aside. I'm putting Babe Pig in the City number three on the back burner. We're getting into this. You know who I want to see make a Mad Max movie? Huh? Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. He worked with Tom Hardy on uh, The Revenant. Sure. He's a gr he knows cinematography really well. He loves being in really uncomfortable. Yeah, locations. exactly. He shot a whole fucking movie <laughs> in like the Arctic for a year. It's great. Oh, Australia. Oh, the outback. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, dust in my lens. <laughs> Give the movie to him. Okay, that's it. It's yeah. settled. In your readers, do the next Mad Max. You're here first. Yeah. Single confirmed. <laughs> All right, watch our other content. We'll see you next time. Bye.